you've seen the footage. Um, yeah, so what happened was I've got to the ground and he's there already. I, I, I don't want to say his name because he's really traumatised me, but he, he's there and I've gone into the toilet and he said, listen, you, all that diving and and, and in the last match and, and your silly fucking hair and that, you, I'm going to fucking have you this game. And I'm like, I've heard that sort of stuff before, but there was there was something about him. I'm, I'm looking in his eyes and he's... He's he's really scary, like so. I've I've run back to the changing room with all my mates, and um, yeah, that's where it started. Then we're we're going out onto onto the pitch, and he's he said to me, "I'm having you, mate. I'm having you." And then yeah, that's where it all it all started. And I mean, I think there's about a hundred BT cameras there, so you you've all seen. What he's done to me is 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 shocking. Um, he's even. I mean, I thought. Look, at half time. He's got. He's got to let me out of his pocket. He, he's got to let me out of his pocket. But he didn't. He, he he's taken me into the the to the West Ham changing room and and <sighs> they're all in there. They're, they're all in there. There's there's the squad. You know. There's a coach, there's about 40 guys in there and it's just me. I'm in his pocket and I can hear him. I can hear him that they was, you know, my name was mentioned a few times. They're like, that twat, that fucking diver, calling me these names and I could hear him. I couldn't see him because... I didn't know that West Ham shorts have got the the zips. I didn't see any of the other players have zips on theirs, but he he clearly had a zip on his pocket, and yeah, he he's done it right up. And I I, I couldn't I couldn't even see out, let alone get out. I, I I couldn't even see out of his pocket, so I could hear them all in the changing room. And then we've we've gone back onto the pitch, and he's just kept me in in, in his pocket and. I just I couldn't get out. I, I just couldn't get out, and I was thinking, I can't wait for the ref to blow the whistle because I know that once that whistle goes, I'm out. I'm free. He's got. He's got. He's got to let me go. But he didn't. He's he's gone back into the changing room, and I'm still in his pocket. This is where it really. I don't know if I can say this to you, but I don't want to say his name. I'm going to say right back, but he's. He showers, but he kept his shorts on in in the shower, <laughs> and I was, yep, yeah, I was getting soap in my eyes, and you know he's rubbing his his bits, and I'm I'm right there, and I'm in his pocket, and I can I can feel movement and, and stuff, and they're all laughing, and all the all the West Ham Jesse Lingard's doing his little dance, and. I couldn't see him, but I, I could hear Jesse Lingard dancing, and he kept his boots on, so he he sounded like a little, you know, like a little. I think he was doing an Irish dance, and I could hear his boots clicky clackety on 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 the on the on the ground. It was awful, just awful. And then um, finally, he's he he's had to you know take off his shorts. He's, he's thrown me down on the ground, and he's getting dressed, and I just waited. I waited for them to go. I was waiting, and then when I heard them finally go, and David Moyes was just, he was, he said to, to the right back, let him out your pocket now, let him out your pocket, it's it's done now, it's done now, you can let him out. And he let me out, and I ran back, and that's, that's my story, surviving Vladimir Sufal.